द शेल शॉक्ट टर्टल ओवन यू हैव टू गॉट टू कम आउट सो वी कैन गेट ऑन टू मूव ऑन इवन दो ओवन न्यू हिज सिस्टर वॉज राइट ही वॉज स्टिल टू स्केयर टू कम आउट ऑफ हिज शेल यू सी ओवन वॉज अ बेबी टर्टल हु हैड रिसेंटली एक्सपीरियंसड हिज फर्स्ट थंडर स्टॉम एंड एवर सिंस देन ओवन वॉज अफ्रेड ऑफ एवरीथिंग एंड वेन आई से एवरीथिंग आई मीन एवरीथिंग चॉपिंग क्रिकेट्स little field mice the moonlight even the slightest bit of wind rattled owen's shell the lightning bolts and thunder from the storm still haunted his dreams just thinking about them made owen tremble of all the eggs that mama laid we are still the only two who haven't reached water yet said owen's sister shani i'm sorry but i just can't do it said owen come on oven you can do this is just something you have to face there is going to be tougher things in life to deal with than just a little storm just a little storm you call that a little storm the lightning bounced off my shell for crying out loud well i admit it it was amazing to see but it did bounce off your oven why are you so afraid now where there is one there is bound to be another said oven maybe next time the lightning bolt doesn't bounce me off then i am a goner look oven if we don't find a pond soon we are both going to be goners and besides the chances of you getting struck by lightning again are probably one in a million yeah which means it could happen said oven right and i am going to win the miss turtle universe beauty pageant said shani you are going to have to trust me oven since you were the last egg to hatch i have to look after you that's the rule you are my baby brother after all you hatched 40 seconds before i did said oven what makes you so grown up i'm not all grown up but like it or not i'm still your older sister and unlike you i'm not afraid of anything under the sun shani laughed at him then but even shani's laughter wasn't enough to get oven out of his shell Nice try but I'm still not risking it said Owen Just then a little turtle named Roxy walked up to ask for directions I hope I'm not disturbing you but could you please tell me where to find Pike Lake Owen had experienced lightning first hand but he had never felt electricity like this before To Owen Roxy was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen and for the first time since the big storm owen didn't feel afraid without hesitation owen popped out of his shell to offer roxy assistance but then felt too shy to say anything to her shani saved him though she pointed to where she believed pike lake to be and asked roxy if she wanted for help finding it roxy appreciated shani's offer but said she was battling a cold and didn't want to get them sick too It shouldn't be too hard to find," said Roxy. "Thanks for the help, and I hope we'll meet again some day." As Roxy walked away, Owen felt empty. Even though Owen hadn't said a single word to Roxy, he knew he had to see her again, and that thought alone turned Owen's emptiness into joy. "You see, Shani, I'm not afraid. I'm out of my shell, and nothing will ever scare me again." said owen gleefully but before owen could utter another word he had jumped right into Shan- shani's arm what is it now owen asked shani oh i just heard the most awful sound in the world the sound of thunder another storm must be on the way a couple of giggles followed by a loud laugh it wasn't thunder that frightened owen a little squirrel pounding rocks against a tree was what had scared him Kid, are you sure you are a turtle and not a chicken? asked the squirrel. Don't tease my little brother, said Shani. There's nothing wrong with being afraid. What? I heard you laughing at him earlier too, said the squirrel. Yeah, but I only tried to get him out of his shell, said Shani. I didn't try to scare him. Well, I'm not afraid of storms, and I all I have is a bushy little tail, said the squirrel. Why if I had a shell like this I wouldn't be afraid of anything in the world I saw you running away from a stray cat yesterday 
said Shani. Yeah, so what? said the squirrel. You were scared to death of that cat, but that cat didn't scare me. What are you saying? asked the squirrel. Everybody gets scared sometimes. Why is my brother being afraid of thunderstorms? Any different from you being afraid of a cat? The squirrel knew that Shani had made a good point, so he just shook his head and darted out of sight. Wow, thank you, said Owen. You really are a great sister. As I said before, Owen, that's my job. You know, sis, I have learned something today. I may not like thunderstorms, but being afraid of them isn't something to be ashamed of. That's right, little brother, and it takes courage to know that. As Owen and Shani journeyed to find Pike Lake, Owen felt proud about having gained the courage to finally leave his shell. Throughout his life, Owen would encounter many thunderstorms to be sure, but none were as scary as the first one. That's because Owen never looked at them the same way again. And oh, how he loved telling his grandchildren about the summer lightning bounced off his shell.